If you're at a point where you're trying to decide what to do with your career and you're considering medicine as a future option, in this video we're going to discuss four reasons why you might want to go into medicine and four reasons why you might not want to go into medicine. So firstly, one terrible reason and a reason not to go into medicine is if you just think it really looks cool or dramatic on TV and you want to kind of be in that glamorous lifestyle. I can tell you that the realities of medicine are nowhere near as cool as they look in a TV drama and the reality are that it can be quite hard, it can be a lot of hours and there's a lot of difficulty and sacrifice that goes with being a doctor and that glamorous lifestyle I hate to break it to you that when you go into it it's not like that it's very rewarding and there are lots of reasons for going into it which we'll talk about later but you're not going to be like McDreamy out of Grey's Anatomy it's just not like that so forget that idea another terrible idea for a reason for going into medicine is pressure from family members or your parents now it is a very nice thing for a parent or someone in the family to be able to say that their child or their relative is a doctor but that is not alone a reason to do something Thing. Remember, it is your life and it's you that has to go to do the work, not them. Remember that it is a lifelong career typically and to do something for the rest of your life just because you want to please your parents or impress somebody is not a good reason that's going to sustain you and keep you motivated and happy in such a long career. A third reason not to go into it is if you are motivated by money. I think money generally is a recipe for disaster if that is your sole pursuit because it can be quite nebulous in the sense that you can never really have enough. There's that saying that people always want twice what they're currently earning and that is so true no matter where you get to the goalposts are always moving however even if money is your main objective which I would discourage probably medicine is not the best route to achieve it dentistry will typically get people a lot more money and actually I do an entire video on medicine versus dentistry because I have qualified in both medicine and dentistry and have worked in both so I can tell you the differences between the two in fact this whole channel is dedicated to helping people getting into medicine and dentistry despite all these negatives that I'm saying so if you want to find out all the resources to get in in the UK you can check out this video here for every step of the application and how to maximize your scores in all of those but money for doctors particularly in the UK as you're working your way up to consultancy that is the top of the pile in terms of training then it's not particularly good and people and colleagues who work in the city and do other jobs are better paid up to that point now currently at the time of filming there are even strikes going on for junior doctors so like I say consultants top of the pile anything below that is considered a junior doctor and those guys are currently striking because the pay is not fair and reflective of the level of importance of the job that they're doing. A final reason to not go into medicine is if you are not a particularly empathetic or not a particularly people loving person. You have to deal with people a lot even if you end up in a research lab, those are a very small subset of medical jobs and yes some people can do that and not interact with people as much but even during your training and all of that time that you spend before getting to that point you will have to interact with a lot of other humans, it's a very social job and those who aren't as social and don't like interacting with people do find it difficult and struggle along the way. So now let's move on to the more positive side and look at the reasons why you might actually want to go into medicine. So the first thing I would say is if you really do want to push yourself and personal growth and just lifelong learning is really important to you then medicine kind of almost forces you to be like that. Medicine is ever evolving. Not only is there a wide breadth of knowledge that you need to have, but there's also a lot of depth to it. And to be able to not only learn that material to start with, but to maintain it with all the developments along the way takes an ongoing practice of learning and just continuously studying and keeping up to date. Now for some people that is daunting. A lot of people want to just complete something. It's a bit like when people are studying for their GCSEs or their A-levels. There's a curriculum, you can finish the curriculum and understand it and then that's it, you're done. But it doesn't work like that with medicine and some people find that very difficult. The second reason for medicine is the impact that you have on people. There is no question that what you do is important and when you get up in the morning and you go to work there's no questioning that why you're there and it would it matter if you weren't there the job that you do is unquestionably important and the help that you give is so tangible your skills that you learn are there to you see somebody in front of you hopefully more often than not your skills are able to make them better and you see them improve in front of your eyes sometimes depending on the specialty that you're in and that tangibility of your skills and the help that they provide is really really incredibly rewarding and for me what is probably one of the most important factors for wanting to go 
go into medicine. The third thing for me is just how much of an amazing human experience it is to be in hospital. You see people at their worst, you see people at their best, that you see people dying, you see people giving birth. You have access to kind of that raw human emotion and people in their most vulnerable states. And that develops some personal skills that transcend medicine itself and you, you as a person then go on into the world and you have all this amazing experience and have seen a lot of things that nobody else will have seen and only a very small subset of the population are privileged enough to have that experience in life and that is something truly special. And probably one of the final reasons for medicine that is often overlooked and maybe not spoken about much is just how sociable the job is. You are always part of a team. As a doctor, you are required to at least just make the decisions but usually lead that team and that again is just a fantastic environment to be in so really in hospital you interact with so many different types of people and if you are like I said a people person that is so energizing it keeps you young it keeps you current with everything that's going on and it is just a fantastic way to go into work and get that kind of social element of your life just from your job of course you'll have friends and other people to, to get your normal social life with but it is a very like I say, energizing, rewarding place to be. So I hope that's helped you decide whether medicine is the right career for you or maybe it's something else that would suit you better. Neither is right or wrong. It's about finding what you think will inspire you, will give you energy and is something that is sustainable for your entire career. But if you do decide that you want to go down the medicine route, I recommend that you check out this video here, which is the introduction to our channel, where like I say, we are purely fixed on helping people get into UK medical and dental school. So everything that you need to know for how to submit a really strong application is in there. But otherwise, I wish you all the best of luck with finding your career and I hope you find the right one for you.